Hi everyone, welcome in. I hope you're doing amazing today. My name is Emmy, and today we will be making a bug cafe. For anyone who doesn't know, my current island theme is bugs, so I thought we could make them a nice spot to chill and hang out. So yeah, um, maybe get yourself a nice bite to eat, maybe a drink, a brew or something, and get nice and comfy, and we will begin. First we're going to start by putting down these dirt square paths. Um, I didn't really have a plan when going into this build other than the fact that I knew that I wanted to have a bug cafe. That was like my only vision. Uh, I didn't know how the layout was going to be. I just kind of went with it and I thought that these dirt paths were perfect. I wanted them to be separate because I wanted to go for a very natural vibe but also kind of like a put together vibe and I thought that these uh, patterns as well that go into the squares are really nice because they're kind of like naturally overgrown leaves and flowers and I thought that it was perfect, perfect for the vibe. So yes, <laughs> that's what we're going to do here. Ignore those over three squares because I realised that I didn't want to put any tables or chairs there. So we're going to go with the stools because I wanted to put um, bugs on the stools so it looked like they were eating at the Cafe and obviously you can't put items on chairs so I had to go with the stools here. I did also move those houses in the background because I realised they were very much in the way. I wish that when I started this island I put all the houses on the beach but I did not because I did not plan ahead clearly. Um, so now it's going to be a very expensive and time consuming project to move all of the houses off of the island and onto the beach and you can see here I was struggling to put the food down but we got there in the end. Um, so yeah, I'll let you enjoy the music whilst we do a little bit of a speed build and I'm sure I'll check in again soon. Hi, it's me again. So at this point I was trying to decide which cart would be better. Would it be the low table or the ironwood cart? I wanted to make it look like they'd ordered like a cup of tea on a cart that it's been like delivered to them. Um, I did end up going with this one. I think that this one is a lot smaller and it looks like, you know, they've rolled it out to them. Um, so yeah, I did swap it around with the tree so that it fit into that little section perfectly and I'm so happy with this little area here. This is exactly what I envisioned. Obviously it's not finished yet, but these tables with the bugs, with the butterfly and the dragonfly eating their ramen and spaghetti, I was just so, so, so pleased with it. Um, and that section did turn out great. So I'm going to start putting down some fences now and um, kind of laying out this section and sectioning it off so that I can prepare for the other part of the cafe.
I think my favourite thing about this whole entire cafe is this little snail who is eating pancakes. It brings me so much joy and I am so happy with this choice because it is so cute. I love him. I was thinking about making a little waiting room area here for people who are waiting to go into the cafe um, and I do stick with this but I obviously got a little bit on shore here but I'm so happy with how it's coming so far really 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 pleased i think it's turning out exactly how i hoped for we're going to put down some paths here we're going for some natural paths again to keep with the natural overgrown bug vibe um, i didn't want to use wooden floors because i didn't want it to take away from the fact that it's supposed to be outdoors and stuff like that and now we're going to do some terraforming because i thought it would be nice to kind of close the cafe off from the rest of the island i also wanted to add some more waterfalls and also some more trees and stuff to give it that more overgrown vibe um so yeah enjoy some terraforming So as you can see, I'm attempting to put down trees in this area and I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm putting down trees in Animal Crossing, I feel like it is just the most stressful thing ever, trying to find out exactly where they'll grow. Um, it's just it's so horrible. It takes me so long to plan out where I'll put my trees in this game. Um, but luckily I did find a place that worked, so yeah. And here we're just, again, designing this little area. It's very much nearly done. I'm gonna put some more fencing down here to, again, section it off. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's going along, uh, so yeah. <laughs> also, can we just appreciate Coco running after this butterfly here? She's so cute. She's my absolute favourite. I love her so, so, so much. She's just adorable. Oh my gosh, my absolute favourite. So this is how it's looking so far. It's very much nearly done. There's just a few little touches that need adding, but so far I'm really happy with how it's turning out. It's definitely giving that natural kind of overgrown vibe and that is exactly what I wanted and I'm so happy with how it's turning out. So yeah, let's do the last little touches and then I think we're all done.
so this is the final product and I am so happy with how it turned out. I love the fact that the bugs are eating pancakes and soup and ramen and I just think it's perfect. I really love how it's super overgrown and natural and it just kind of looks like it's been placed outdoors. I That was the vibe I was going for and I'm really really happy with it. Um, so yeah. I am very happy with how it turned out and I hope that you enjoyed watching it come to life and I want to thank you so much for watching and for being here and yeah I guess I'll see you in the next video. If you do want to catch me anywhere else I do stream on Twitch four times a week and the link will be below but other than that I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, evening or night wherever you are and yes thank you so much, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again super soon, goodbye!